In Washington today, the Trump administration saying that it's seeing success with recently enacted criminal justice reform measures and now, in fact, looking for states to make changes of their own. KCA United's Washington correspondent Mark Meredith has the very latest. Every day I take one step at a time. Catherine Tony spent 16 years behind bars for drug crimes. I didn't expect to be released. Now she's out of prison and in the political spotlight as the Trump administration showcases the benefits of a recent criminal justice reform law which reduces sentences for some nonviolent offenders. I try to work hard. I try to be honest. Tony has a new job working at a Mobile, Alabama Walmart. Brooke Rollins is with the White House's Office of American Innovation. She says the administration wants to do more to help ex-cons like Tony stay out of prison. That's how you make our community safer. You figure out a way that every American has a chance at the American dream. The White House says it estimates some 500 people have been released early thanks to its reform efforts. But former prisoners say even with an early release, life isn't always easy. Matthew Charles says he had a hard time finding a job and apartment back home in Nashville. But we understand that the felon stigma is going to be there, but it shouldn't uh, cause you not to be able to get a particular job. The White House says it wants state lawmakers to enact their own criminal justice reforms and allow some offenders in state prisons a second chance. Reporting in Washington, Mark Meredith, KCAU 9 News.